welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Did you know that you can use hair with the Volume Builder to create effects like this here? But you need to make some changes to the hair object. So, let's start from scratch. Create hair on any polygon object. Then, if necessary, click on the hair object, guides and change the length. So the important part to make the volume builder recognize the hair is you go to generate, click on type and change it from none to spline. Now you can activate the volume builder again and if necessary the volume measure. Drag and drop the hair object into the volume builder and you get an effect like this. But to make it look like in the beginning we need to make some changes. So first of all Go to the hair object inside the volume builder in this list and change the radius to 2. The values here and here and also the voxel size can be totally different depending on the size of your object. So now we have to put a smooth layer on top. I already have one here but if you want to create it it's here just by clicking on this button. In the end to have more holes here in between we also need to change the hair count. So I go back to my hair object, go to hairs and change the count from 5000 to 600. And in conjunction with some textures and light, you can create an effect like this one. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.